Planet Dolan. From chlamydia riddled ex lovers to crazy jealous girlfriends, we look at 10 of the dumbest social media breakups. Hi there! My name is Doopy, and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number 10 Double Burn. This couple proves that declaring victory in a breakup is a fickle business. This chick sounds pretty crazy to begin with, airing out their dirty laundry at her guy's workplace and then burning all his clothes? While she thinks she's got the upper hand, he breaks it to her that he's done just as much damage to her own life in the hours since she left him. These guys sound as batshit crazy and vindictive as one another, but he definitely had the final word. I guess crazy attracts crazy? Number 9. Dumb people shouldn't cast the first stone. So many ladies like to post almost inspirational mantras on their social media to help them get through a tough time. This woman's ex is pretty clueless though. He tries to point out her contradictory values by saying if she never gives up, then why'd they get divorced? Unfortunately, he left himself open to her telling everyone that he got her sister pregnant. Maury, Maury, Maury. She lets everyone see that he's the douchebag villain of every romantic comedy. Goes to show you how dumb people shouldn't cast the first stone, especially in a breakup. Number 8. Cheater Inception Shaming someone on social media is pretty tricky because it might just reveal your own ridiculousness. She's shaming her ex, saying how she doesn't want to date a cheater because he wanted to be with his wife. Hmm, you play with fire, you're gonna get burnt. You really can't assume that some dude is actually going to leave his wife once you're the other woman. It's like Cheater Inception. That monster is a cheater. You'd think that she knew that from the beginning when he started cheating on his wife. It's like meeting someone at a golf range and then being surprised that they play golf. Number seven, slow clap. This girl is cleaning out her closet and getting a course of antibiotics. She's pretty brave to announce to her friends list that her ex should definitely have bothered to wrap his tool since he acted a fool. I guess when you're the shattered recipient of an STI, shit's gonna get real super quick. Especially when you're the faithful member of your relationship. Dudes like this are like an advertisement for abstinence. Don't have sex or you'll get the... <coughs> Number 6. Filthy Facebook When you announce that you're writing solo on social media, you're bound to get some commentary. At least this guy's friends are supportive though. Reminding him what a dick his ex is and showing relief that he finally wised up to her shady bullshit. Michael, however, is a filthy bastard and I can't help but wonder if he conspired with the previous commenter to set him up for a line like this. With friends like these, who needs to watch movies for filthy one-liners? Number 5. Goatee Graveness While the two women from this guy's life squabble and make jabs about what was obviously a messy love triangle, this guy clearly has other priorities. With all the insults that precede it, the only insult this guy cares about is the one about his stupid goatee. He probably should be self-conscious about his facial fro, it's pretty stupid looking. But who cares if someone calls you a relationship ruining cheating lowlife when they're all true? But the goatee, that's below the belt. Well, not literally, but you get it. Number 4. Bold Choices Grab the popcorn because this drama fest is about to get juicier. When this chick posts a picture of her ultrasound, the ex posts a corresponding status saying that he's gotta find a new place to live. When his apparent baby mama says it's his choice, he reminds her oh so casually that he doesn't really have a choice about her cheating on him and getting knocked up by someone else. He's got a point though, he could have chosen to be a paranoid d-bag and monitor her every waking hour, but then she might have been even more determined to do it. Ah, romance is beautiful. Number 3. Status Disliked Another hazard of changing your relationship status can happen when you fail to let your significant other know about it beforehand. This post is a prime example of what can go wrong when you dump someone via social media. Your dirty laundry gets aired the fuck out. Not only did Drew reveal his lack of maturity, but also revealed that he'd rather end a 3 year relationship than get rid of his pornographic anime. I guess he's known some of those girls longer though. But what a way to break up with someone. Nowadays you don't even have to write them a note. 
Whatever happened to the classic, hey baby, welcome to Dumpsville, population, you. Number two, Soap Dispenser. After declaring her newfound singledom and calling him a child, this chick's ex strikes back and tells everyone that she's just a dumb bitch. Well, that bitch knows some shit about you too, buddy. Being obsessed with Pokemon isn't so bad, but I wouldn't want her broadcasting any more info. But now everyone finds out that he shoots jizz like a malfunctioning soap dispenser. Everybody close your eyes, that shit stings. Soap in your eyes, I mean. God, you guys in your filthy minds. Number one, whale of the time. Warning, this bitch is crazy. All future persons she dates should receive a copy of this comment thread to give the guy a heads up on the degree of lunacy we got going on here. When her boyfriend comments on the picture of a whale saying that it's beautiful, Bay starts to go cray. Her paranoia goes beyond all known measurements of fucking crazy when she accuses him of cheating on her with a whale. After managing to talk her down, the whale has joined in and declared her disgust at being referred to as a fish which starts Cray Bay up all over again. So much for having a whale of a time. All right guys, got a question for ya. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever seen a couple do in public? Let us know in the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Nothing's more terrifying than waking up after a crazy night at the butchery to find a naked stranger in your bed. Well, maybe waking up to said naked stranger in an unfamiliar bed is worse, but they're both pretty bad. Either way, you're hungover as fuck and you have to face the dreaded walk of shame.